<laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, my man. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to go over the back end of the website for you, set it up as best I can um, so you don't have to do any back end work. And then I'm going to show you what I need from you in order to get it finished, which is the graphics for the look and feel of the website. So getting started here, I'm going to go under your site configuration. Are you going to want to offer embroidery or just printing on the site? Embroidery as well. Okay. And then I get all my clients set up to get started as a request to quote site so they can go there, submit their contact information with the design they've created. If you decide you want to switch it to where they can buy now, we'll do that after today. After you've got everything sent back to me, we'll go and switch that over if that's what you want to do eventually. And then... On the website, there's a names and numbers features for like sports teams, so they can put a name and number on the back of their shirt. Do you want to put that on the side or leave it off? Go ahead, yeah. Perfect. So I'm get that on there for you. And then this button right here, just make sure that all the artwork's editable. And then when someone does submit a quote to your website, is this the best email for you to get notified at? No, type sales at printga.com. And that's going to be the same thing for your contact us page. Yeah. And then is change, this change, change, change the domain on that one. At, at print sales at printga.com. There you go. Printgeorgia.com. Like that. Mhm. Mm cool. So we're going to get that saved. Is your telephone number best number for your clients to reach you at? Yes. Cool. And then on your website for your printing, do you want to set a minimum or is one t-shirt ordered okay? Let's do 12. 12 is a minimum. Perfect. And then for the amount of colors you want them to be able to design with, what's the max amount of colors? Um, we'll do four and four, so eight. Is that front and back? Yeah, four on the front, four on the back, or... Eight total or whatever you want to. Perfect. And then when someone does submit a quote on your website, do you prefer to take credit card over the phone? Or do you want to be able to send them a quote where they can then check out online from there? Hmm. Yeah, let's have them. Let's don't do a credit card online. Okay. I'm through, so. Okay. If, if you ever want to set that up, just give me a call and we'll set that up for you. Okay. Perfect. So for your products on your product catalog, what I'm going to do is just put in the base products to get started. If you decide you want to add more products to the website, I'm going to be sending you a YouTube video that will explain to you how to load the products that are already loaded to the site. So if, for instance, you want to add like Gildan, Anvil, and stuff like that to the site, you can go ahead and do that using the YouTube video I send you. But for right now, with the products that are going to be loaded are just uh, base products like 100% cotton, or 50-50, they won't say Gildan, Anvil, or anything like that. It'll just be a base to get started with. Okay. And then for your designs, all your designs are going to be loaded here. So you've already got 14,000 vector designs. If you want to add additional clip art to the website, I will also be sending you a YouTube video on how to add additional clip art to the site. Okay. What I'm going to be doing right here is just adding in false information to your your um, payment merchant service just so that you can still send your clients a quote it'll basically be acting as an invoice you'll still have to take credit card over the phone though Okay. so this is what your website looks like right now what I'm gonna do with you real quick is I'm gonna do a test to make sure everything's working properly and then I'm gonna walk you through how to set up the graphics for the look and feel of your website okay. so I'll go and get in here I'm just going to do a quick design with you on the phone. I'm just going to hit Go Tigers. Let's make that caps. Go Tigers. And then over here to the right, you've got all these colors that they can change the color to, different fonts, and then also different text effects, and they can make the text smaller, larger, whatever they want. I'm going to add clip art and just type in Tiger. <clears throat> And just find a tiger design. I'll just choose this one real quick. And then you'll see over here that the colors in the design, if I click on one and make it the product color, it makes it transparent. So right now it's showing that I've got two colors in my design. If I, again, click on the design and change this to the orange, it'll change it to one color. 
then anytime your customer calls you needing assistance with how to use the website, instead of instructing them over the phone how to do it, you can send them to this link down here that it's a how-to video. It's a three-minute video on how to use the website that allow them and show them how <laughs> and what each tool is used for. Okay. And then over here to the left, you've got your names and numbers feature. So when I click on that, it's going to bring up a box with all the sizes that are offered for that shirt. So when they type in how many they want for each size, it'll give them a box here to the right where they can put in their name and number for each one of their team members. Okay. And then over here, oops, when you click on the name and number, I can change the size, again the font, and the font color for each one of my names and numbers. And when you do that, it'll not only change it for each one of the names and numbers you have, but then any additional one. Oops. As well. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and hit finish and then add to quote. This is where your client is going to fill out their contact information to send their artwork to you and give you their contact info. So I'll go ahead and do that and hit submit. Now it's going to send you an email notification to that sales email, letting you know that there's been a quote been, that's been submitted to your, on your website. So when you log into the back end of your website, you'll go under your quote workflow management, and this is where you're going to download the artwork. So I click download design. All I have to do is click on it and open it in Corel or Illustrator. And then I can send them a quote as well by just hitting the send quote feature and then typing in how much I want to charge them for each size and then I can also go over here and put in how much I'm going to charge them for the name and number. I can put in my shipping cost and also any production charges like screen charges or anything like that and then just hit save an email and it's going to send them an email with pricing. So that's how the back end of the website is works in tour in for quoting. Now I'm also going to be sending you a YouTube video that goes over exactly what we just went over, how to sum, how what happens when a quote's been submitted, how you download the artwork, how you send them a quote, so on and so on. So you always have that in your back pocket. So that being said, I'm going to be emailing you a bunch of stuff over. Now do you prefer to work in Corel or Illustrator? Um we kind of do both. Okay. We'll do I'll, I'll send you over both files. I'm going to be sending you 12 files for Corel and 12 files for Illustrator. And each one of these okay. files are going to be a drop zone that's on your website. So there's 12 drop zones and each area makes up an area on that specific spot on the website. So drop zones 1 through 9 are going to be make up the home page of your website as well as drop zone 12 which is the background for your site. So drop zone 1 is going to be your header, drop zone 2 is your menu bar, Three is this large area here in the center, and then four through nine are down here at the bottom. Drop zones one and two repeat on every page, and drop zone 10 will be at the bottom of your design tool, and then drop zone 11 will be to the right of your quote page. So what I'm going to do with you next is I'm going to break down a few websites that are already up and running so I can show you what other people have done. And I'm also going to be emailing you all these websites as well so you can use them as a reference point as you're creating your website. So let's get started with Halo Images. Um, you'll notice drop zone number one up here at the top. They've got their company name and telephone number. Those two things are very important. Anything else that you want to do to jazz up that area on your website, it's completely up to you, but your name or company logo and a telephone number so they can reach you easily is pretty important to have in Drop Zone 1. Now, do you already have a website? I do. Perfect. So on Drop Zone number 2, this is your menu bar. What you're going to do is you're going to recreate your menu bar to match the theme of your website. So these six buttons all go somewhere specifically on the design tool page. But you're going to add a seventh button that instructs them that if they click on this button, it's going to take them back to your other website. So they've got Halo Images Home right here, and that takes me back to their other website. And on their other website, they've got this big button here in the center that takes me to their design tool homepage, just like that. And then this is just another example. They've got back to our website, and that takes me to their website, and so on and so on. 
So that being said, drop zone three is this large area here in the center. Most people just do something that describes what the website's intended for, but you can also do something like this and send me multiple zone threes so I can set up kind of a slideshow to show you can show like specials you might be having or um, things you might offer in house that's not offered or available on the website like rhinestones. Maybe you want to show that you do signs and banners, whatever it might be. Um, and then drop zones four, five, and six, you'll see right here, they've got like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Pinterest. So I can actually add links to your social media if you want as well. So right here on zone five, or go to click on follow us on Twitter, it goes to their Twitter page. So when you send me back all the artwork for the look and feel of your art website when it's all done, in the context of your email, you'll just let me know what zone number you want me to link to, and then the hyperlink to that website so I know exactly where to link up that site. Okay. And then this is just an example of what someone did other than social media. They just put a big orange bar with a little slogan in it. You can also combine the drop zones. So this is what the client did when they combined it. Why, why that's important, because if you have something like on our sample website, if you send them individually as drop zones four, five, and six, you're gonna get little white lines separating them. But if you send them as one drop zone, four through six, all as one, you won't get those white lines like this client has. Okay. And then same goes for seven, eight, and nine down here at the bottom. You're going to want to create one of these buttons to say click here. Letting them know by clicking that button is going to take them to the design tool. This client has start your design, click here. This one just has click here. Um, again, this client combines zones 7 through 9 as one drop zone to separate them so they don't have these little white lines in here. And then you can also do something like this where you can combine drop zones 4 through 7 so there's zero lines whatsoever and it's just one big drop zone. Okay. Cool. So drop zone number 10 is going to be at the bottom of the design tool down here. What I recommend doing for you since you do have a minimum for print on your website is putting some small disclaimer that says if you want to order there's a minimum of 12 shirts if you want to order 12 or less shirts please call us at with your telephone number so at least people are calling you if they do want to order less than 12 shirts okay. and then drop zone 11 is to the right of your little shopping cart or request a quote page right over here to the right I tell people I recommend putting something that lets some of their clients know that they need to fill out their contact information to receive pricing because sometimes people might get confused here because they can't check out. So it's important that you instruct them by filling out their contact information here that they can get pricing sent to them. Okay. And then drop zone number 12 is the background for your website. So you're just going to want to make that match the theme of how you want your website to look. All right, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to send you an email with all the information we just went over. Do you want me to send it to this email, Wes, at eofda.com? That would be fine. Cool. So we'll go and do that. Oops. And then, I'm, like I said, I'm going to attach all of this information. This is all my Illustrator files. I'm also going to attach the Corel files as well. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is put in all this information. So this basically goes over everything we just went over to um, for the first part, all the artwork when you're done needs to be sent back to me as a PNG file. So whether you're in Corel or Illustrator, you'll save it as an EPS file so you can make changes to it in case you make a spelling error. Or maybe in a few months down the road you get a new telephone number you need to quickly update it. You'll save them as an EPS, EPS file so you can make those changes quickly. But you're also going to export them as PNG files and send me the PNGs. And then this is just an example. If you want to link something to the web, you just let me know the zone number you want me to link it to. And then you'll put the hyperlink after it. Currently, to get to your website, you're going to go to expressimaging.actiondesigneronline.com. 
If you want to drop the actiondesigneronline.com, you can. You just either have to already have another domain name that's not being used for another website, or you need to purchase a new no domain name. At that point, what you're going to do is call your domain provider once you have a domain that you want to use for Live Designer, and you're going to give them this IP address to link to your new domain name. And then as soon as you get off the phone with them, you'll email me that domain name so I can load it up on my side. Okay. I, I, you do that kind of work, so yeah, that would not be a problem. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, I, I could set that up uh, no sweat. Perfect, all right. Then here are four examples of other people's website. Use them as a reference point when you're coming up with the artwork for the look and feel of your website. And then these are two more, and these are they've done a good job with their frequently asked questions and about us page. So if I go to your website right now and I've got frequently asked questions and about us, these pages are going to be blank right now. So you want to fill out, you want to create content. Send me the content so I can load it to the website for you. Okay. And then lastly, once you've sent me back all the artwork and the about us and the contact us or the frequently asked questions uh, information. You'll watch this YouTube video right here. This YouTube video allows you to create a Facebook app, which will give you a Facebook app ID number. That ID number you'll send to me, and I'll create a button on your website that allows your clients to go to your site, create a design, and post this to their Facebook free feed so that anyone that they're friends with will see that they've gone to your website with the design they've created and a link back to your website on Facebook. It's a great way to advertise the, the website. Okay. And then these are just those three YouTube videos I was talking about, how to upload additional clip art, how to what to do once a quote's been submitted, and how to choose products that are already on the site so you have additional products to work with. And then if you need okay. assistance, you got either James or I, and then also Jeff, he's not on here, but you can call the 866 number and ask for Jeff. He'll be able to help you out as well. And then Basically, from there, once I get your artwork back, your website will be up and running and ready for your clients to submit quotes on it. If you need assistance, okay. you can call any one of us, and we can help you out with anything you might need. Cool. you have any questions? Um, yeah, one question I do have is, all right, let's say that, um, it, and I know from, like, let, let's say pricing on shirts, mm -hmm. okay? Now, obviously, like a... a uh, how, how to okay let's say I decided to do an automatic checkout okay on these. okay so let's say I decide hey I want people to be able to price it buy it and go for it okay all online one click of the button without having to go through me um, what do where do you guys pull from as far as pricing let's say if they went from uh, a basic Gildan shirt to uh, something more expensive. What catalogs do you guys pull from? It's the catalogs that we have already loaded to the website is from the Sanmar catalog. And I don't want okay. you to worry about that. If you decide to do it, what we'll do is we'll set up a second go to meeting later down the road once all this is done and finished. And I'll actually mm -hmm. set up the pricing so it's set up based on how much you want to charge your clients. So you won't actually have to physically do it yourself. It's something that we offer to make sure that you don't have to struggle through it because it's not easy to set up, but it's something I've done a thousand times. So it's very easy for me to set it up while I've got you on a go to meeting. But yeah, we'll totally take care of you when it comes to that point. Okay. I got you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll take care of step one and then we'll get together. So